going to go into the collapse of 09. After this Christmas season, you're going to start seeing major retailers go under. And, and with them, you're going to start seeing vacancies, and they're already happening. Circuit City went bankrupt. Uh, linens and things, Stephen Barry, Sharper Image, over 100, 140,000 stores have closed in the last year. And who's going to fill these vacancies? The answer is nobody. Empty stores galore, plus all the financial sector that's crashing out. And um, uh, that's going to leave vacancies as well uh, in, in all these commercial buildings. So the commercial real estate sector is going to be the next one to collapse. And, and the retail with it. Well, now that you're going to see all of these bankruptcies come about in the retail sector, that's going to leave gaps to be filled with the, by small retailers. So as, as Starbucks closes stores, as they have been, you know, their expansion was less about consumer demand than predatory comp- competition. In other words, what they would do is go into an area, buy out the leases surrounding the coffee shops, that were on bomb and pop operations, and then go in and drive them out of business. It was more a predatory practice than a consumer demand. So this is still going to be demand for people drinking high-end coffees, just not at Starbucks. Well, you know, there's that, that old saying in America, Yankee frugality, mm-hmm. you know, use it up, wear it out, make it do, do without. Yeah. Go back to what they did during the Great Dep- Depression. People were survivalists, self-sufficient. Rip up those lawns that are growing grass that you can't eat or smoke and plant <laughs> something in there that you could use. You know, vegetable gardens, arbors, uh, trees. You know, make it productive. And that's what you're going to see more of, as they do in Europe and other countries that are more advanced in civilization than growing these, these green carpets that are chemically treated and useless, as I mentioned. And also the, the other thing is, is really don't spend a dime that you don't need to to buy junk. You know, anything you buy, buy quality. The people, by the way, that, that you might I say this mantra everywhere where I go around the world, particularly in the manufacturers and service sector, don't let your quality down. Build the best you could do. Build, do the best you can do. Quality is what's going to count in the greatest depression. People will buy less, but less is more. They're going to buy better. And also, you know, I'm, I'm, we don't give financial advice. I'll tell you what I believe, and, and that is I believe in gold. I buy gold. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that if they, well, if they keep printing money at the rate that they're going, in the States particularly, or around the world sure. actually, that we're going to have fiat currencies that aren't going to be worth the paper they're printed on. So I'm a believer that gold is going to go past 2,000 an ounce. It's the fall and decline or the decline and fall of empire America. Mm-hmm. And it is much more beyond the economic issue. It's what's going on in foreign policy, fighting immoral wars for false reasons, and, and the military stretched all over the country, all over the world. So this country is going down. At one time, you look at OECD data, and the United States ranked first in education, first in quality of life, first in health care. We don't even win, place, or show in most of those fields anymore. And this is what the white shoe boys, the Harvard, Princeton, Yale people, you know, those guys that are born with silver spoons in their mouths that um, never really got any dirt under their fingernails don't understand. When When people lose their homes and their jobs and they're cold and they're hungry, they're going to revolt. When people lose everything and they have nothing to lose, they lose it. 